almost anybody that I've ever known. Congressman Phil Rowe is one of the great leaders in the Congress today. He was, uh, he spent, I think, over 30 years in a, in a, in a medical practice and did so many good things for thousands of people in his medical practice. And then he became the mayor of Johnson City. And then fortunately for me and fortunately for this country, uh, he was elected to Congress. He has come to Congress and we tried on the, in the Tennessee delegation, you know, in the, in the Senate, the low population states have more power than they should. Uh, Wyoming, 450,000 people, has two senators. Uh, uh, several other states are similar. But so they even it out, they did the founding fathers did by giving uh, way more power to in the House to the high population states. California has 53 members of the House. Florida, New York, Texas, all those states, they get you know, the high population states have more of the power, get more of the chairmanships and all that kind of stuff. So we've tried to get our nine members of the Tennessee delegation on most of the different committees. So we have somebody representing us on all of the committees. And, and Phil Rowe has become a leader on education and labor issues on that, that committee, how very important that is. I was the only member of the Tennessee delegation, he wasn't there at that time, who voted against the No Child Left Behind Law, which was a very great overreaction to failed school systems in Chicago and, and, and Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. It was written mainly by Ted Kennedy and George Miller. And I voted against that. Unfortunately, I think there's only 45 of us that voted against it. But I've always been glad that I voted against it. But now we've got Republicans in control and we're coming with some very conservative reforms or we're trying to do anyway. Uh, so we get rid of a lot of that no child left, left behind on. He's our representative on the Veterans Affairs Committee, which is very important to, the, to this country and to, pe to people in this uh, area. And then on top of that, He's a medical doctor who people really listen to on medical issues, and he's been in the forefront. He's been the main leader, really, about uh, coming up with a Republican alternative to Obamacare, which we never should have had in the first place, and we need to wipe out as much of that as we possibly can. Amen. So uh, I just want to, uh, I, I appreciate so much uh, uh, Phil Rowe uh, uh, agreeing to, uh, they asked me to ask him, and he just, uh, just immediately agreed to come, and I appreciate that so much, especially as some of you know, he, he lost his wife just a few, uh, not too many days ago, and uh, uh, I just, uh, uh, I'm so grateful to him for being here with us tonight, and I hope you'll give a wonderful, big, loud and county welcome to my friend, Phil Rutherford.